In this Photoshop retouching tutorial, I'll take you through a high-end retouching process using frequency separation. I'll add my free personal frequency separation action for download. Let's take a look at what we'll be achieving in this tutorial. This is the final image you want to achieve. This is before, this is after. Let me zoom in a bit so we can have the details. This is what we want to achieve. So this is before, this is after. Let's do that once again, before and after. So stick around and let me take you through. My name is Kwekwaye and this is Ghana Near Photography. Let's go ahead and delete our group, which contains what I did before. So now we have a clean image that we are going to start from. So this image came from Capture One. I did all the raw processing in Capture One as usual. So first thing I'll do here is blemish remover. So I'll go ahead and create an empty layer and select my spot healing brush and then zoom in to 50% and then start taking off blemishes. Now I leave it on content aware and then sample all layers. This is very, very important. If you're using an empty layer, then you need to sample all layers. Otherwise, if you use an empty layer and you don't select sample all layers, nothing will be sent to the background layer. So with that said, let's um, go ahead and take off blemishes. Alright, we are done with um, blemish remover. So we'll go ahead and then run our frequency separation action. So here I have the Ghana Near FS Median 8 bit version 3 because I have gone through this a couple of times and I made some changes. So this is the third version. So we click on continue and then we will have to select our radius. Now for this image, I will leave the radius at 8 you can tweak it to what works for you. For me, I realized this is what works for me. It's kind of like a, um, a cheat for me. Eight works for most of my images. Sometimes I go to 16, sometimes I go to four or sometimes even six. So just play around and then see which one works for you. So here I'll leave it at eight and then click OK. Now we have a frequency separation action played. I'll add a download link in the description so you can get this action for free. Yes, I made it clear that I won't be selling my actions and resources. Any resource that I create, I'll put it out for free. So if you like, you just download it and use it. And then if you want to donate, I'll make available um, a link that you can just donate. I don't want to sell my resources. So one thing about my actions is um, I made some, some settings. Like once you run your frequency separation, I use it with uh, the mixer brush. So I made it so that it will select the mixer brush for you and then enter some values. Now, if you you have your um, default values, your personal values there, once you run this action, it will pick those values, but then it will still select the mixer brush for you. That makes it faster for you. Instead of you running the action and then going to look for the mixer brush to select, my action will select the mixer brush for you automatically. So here on the color layer, we select it and then we start applying a mixer brush. So mostly you would want to zoom out a bit so you can see the full image and then you start your mixer brushing. I have a detailed tutorial on how to use the mixer brush, including the settings and all that. So if you don't understand this process that much, you can watch that video and then get a better understanding. So once we are done with our mixer brush, we zoom in and realize we have some blemishes that um, are still on her face. So we go to the texture layer, select the clone stamp tool, 
And with that, I use a flow of 10%. I keep my opacity at 100 and then the flow at 10%. Reason I use flow at 10% is I want to have a gradual approach. I want to brush gradually to be able to get my effect. Plus, I don't want, um, I don't want to replace the texture there. I just want to, you know, tone it down. That's the reason why I use a smaller flow. So now with that, we will sample a part of a, a skin that um, we like and press on option on Mac and then sample. Then you brush over. So you see, I brush over like two or three times, 10 times two, that's 20%. So you realize I'm not removing everything there. I'm just trying to tone it down. So option, sample, and then brush over. Sometimes I brush just once, sometimes twice. So let's um, go ahead and do that. And this line here, I just want to tone it down a bit, not to completely take it away. And with that, we have a further blemish removal done. So once we are done, we can come back here, select our mixer brush tool, and then go over our mixer brush again. That's if we want to. You can decide to leave it like that, but mostly I realized that after doing the blemish removal on the texture layer, I have to run like a few more, um, I have to run a few more of the mixer brush on the, color layer to blend in some of these um, things that we took off. So we just do a quick one again. And here we have it. So let's um, do a quick before and after. So this is after, before, after, before, after. So this is frequency separation. This is a blemish remover. So blemish removal, frequency separation, before and after. We can then go ahead and then um, whiten her eyes, do dodge and burn and every other thing that we need to do. But since this video is just about frequency separation, we'll end it here and then continue in another video.